last episode. The train tracks of Schengen. Luxembourg. Schengen, the wall 1958 on 19. They also have cut houses on the street. And the information center is inside of a ship. So we just arrived to the station of Bettenburg. Um, to the south of Luxembourg it's a very big station with many yeah, parking spots and they are all for free but as you can see it's full it's really full at 10 a.m. Um, and I assume the reason why is not only that it's a free parking lot next to the center but it's also because in Luxembourg all public transportation is free of charge yeah. since uh, uh, March of 2020 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna hop on a train to Luxembourg City without using the car and paying a single euro. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't believe our luck in these countries. Somehow everything was right in the first days in or in countries like Slovenia Italy no problem and here look exactly the place that we chose and you need to take a bus that takes more than half an hour it's already half past 10 it gets dark at 5 and I don't know what we need to do now if we really want to go to Luxembourg City or if we just drive somewhere else So change of plans, in the end we go to H sur Alcet, which is the second city in terms of population and importance in the duchy of Luxembourg, so of the whole country, we don't go to the capital. So we are in Esch sur Alcette, the second biggest city in Luxembourg. Well, the first impression is not very good. Court of work of Esch sur Alcet. <laughs> Just ahead of us, we were gonna experience the death of the pedestrian the, the or an accident. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, a person just star starts running on red, like in front of a car, and the car has to do an emergency braking. By the way, that uh, building burned. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think of this place. It's very strange. And it's been raining for more than 24 hours in this whole area, this whole region. Uh, cars just driving in pedestrian areas. By the way, that's the center. The town hall, I guess. Yeah. And they are pre preparing for the Christmas market. Mir wolle bleibe wat nersin. We want to stay the way we are. 
and to zoom and feel the freedom together for peace. But it's not a very peaceful place, I don't know. Too. And here there's an ambulance from Ukraine that was bombed and uh, shot at, like you can see the holes of bullets. I've never seen a bullet hole actually. So this is very crazy. Extrena medicina da pomaga. So apparently prices in Luxembourg are not so high. I mean not as high as I expected. Uh, the salaries are higher but you can see the prices are like in France. 4 euros for a salad or 3 euros for a baguette with chicken So we were at the Carrefour um, We got some lunch Yeah, they even had Portuguese products because um, yeah, pastel de nut. Um, of course, not like the ones in Portugal. But it's because many Portuguese people live in Luxembourg. So, uh, they make up a big percentage of the population here. And maybe that's why they have local products. I also heard people speak Portuguese to each other. Yeah. Esch sur Alzette is also called Esch. It lies 15 kilometers southwest of Luxembourg city and was selected as European Capital of Culture for 2022 alongside Kaunas and Novi Sad. One interesting fact is that Esch has the longest shopping street in Luxembourg. National Museum of the Resistance. Yeah, we find uh, this place or generally the country of Luxembourg very strange. Yes. Very has that dark vibe. The man from the grilled chicken stand at the market had metal music on, and he was just head banging there. And also weird. Like why would you put metal music when you're selling grilled chicken? <laughs> well he wasn't selling anything because no one was there. But yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Yes. I guess that's the church of Fesh sur Alset. It's quite small. Yeah, and now we are going to the station again. Strange vibe in uh, Luxembourg. At least in the bigger places, the smaller ones seem to be a bit nicer. Yeah. Like everywhere, I guess. Yeah. So now we go to Petenburg uh, on a free train. You only pay for the first class, as you can see here. Second class. Uh, yeah for free and then first class courtside billet so for short trips uh, 3 euros for the whole day 6 and so on like going back in time so this is how a Flammkuchen looks like you notice the difference 